Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Nick, and we are back with another video. I know my hair and everything's look a little crazy, but as you guys can see, I'm in a new suite, and we're doing a little bit of painting right now. So basically, your boy's moving suites, and you know, I just decided to change the color up a little bit. It is this kind of brownish color back here, and I'm changing it to this white. I think it's called. Uh, uh, Hold on, what's it called? I think it's called Chantilly Lace. Chantilly Lace. Yeah, so I'm gonna end up hitting this wall that white color, Chantilly Lace. And as you guys can see back here, we have my accent wall, that's a black. I wanted to do a matte black, a matte finish, but this one looks cool. I think it looks real good. Um, I think I, I put about two coats down on this. So it's in there pretty good. No, I did three coats, excuse me. I did three coats on this, so it's down there pretty good. And then as you guys can see, I just have to uh, finish up back up there, just finish off this wall. So I'm going ahead and, ooh, I think I might tape it off. You know, I might leave it out because your boy's a painting expert. So I really don't, I'm not really about worried about getting paint up there. But also, I need to go ahead and take down the baseboard. Yeah, then we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then tomorrow, I well, I think I'm gonna let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow, come in here and put all the rest of my stuff in here as far as uh, my chair. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have my chair set up right here against this wall. Have my TV on that wall, of course. And then on this wall right here, I have this sign that says Paradise, which you guys will see. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that one back there. I think it's gonna be nice. Um, it's a little bit bigger, so I really like it. Just a little change up, a little change of scenery. I have a, I'm gonna have a little sitting area right here. You know, I'm gonna put uh, two chairs. So I'm gonna have the TV on the wall up here. And then, like I said, I'm gonna have a mirror, a big standalone mirror. And then I'm going to have my chair, my toolbox. And then of course, I'm gonna put some paintings on the wall, well, some posters, and I'm gonna put a little shelf up there. So I think it's gonna come out really nice. Uh, this is actually my first time painting a room and it's taking a little bit longer than I expected, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that so I can go ahead and get out of here. It's starting to get dark outside. Let this dry for the rest of the night, then come back and yeah, come back and just put everything back into, you know, put everything, set everything up and get it to where I need it to be. Um, your boy is looking rough right now. Just woke up. I, had, I think I did, I did two haircuts this morning and uh, just threw on kind of whatever. As you can see, I already got paint. I'm trying to be real careful that I don't get paint on anything, but as you can see, we already got a little bit. So uh, I'm just gonna finish up in here then you know, head home, come back in tomorrow, bring everything in here, and just kind of try to organize it and see how it comes out. But I think it's gonna look real nice. I'm already excited about it. The color came out real nice. I'm looking at it right now. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting and uh, yeah, so I can go ahead and get out of here. Your boy is starving. I haven't ate all day. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this wall. I'm gonna set up a camera, let you guys see some of my paint skills. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let's get it. back another day where's that lighting good at I already got the mirror up in here got you guys on my little tripod thing right here so yeah but we're back in here another morning as you can see definitely got all the walls painted up all the trim and stuff looking nice and no if you need any paint services hit your boy up yeah, so the paint looks really good. I really like this uh, this black wall. I really think it's gonna pop off. I got a little sign right here, a little neon sign that we're gonna use. It says Paradise, gonna hook that up, show you that. Um, I did set up these chairs last night, little sitting there for my clients. Now, the whole reason for me wanting to kind of switch up my suites, I feel like if more than two people came in here, I feel like it was a little like, like we're playing Tetris to kind of fit. This is a little bit bigger, not too much bigger, but this is the biggest size that they had. Um, I definitely like the salon, I like the area, so we're gonna rock out with that. So I'm just gonna keep on working in here. Um, I'm sure you guys really don't care to see me just moving things back and forth. Literally right down the hall, I got a little dolly, so I'm gonna uh, keep on 
about setting up stuff, might set up the tripod, let you guys see me setting up some stuff. But if I don't, hey, whatever, you'll see the end product. I think it's gonna come out really dope. I think, it's, uh, I think my clients are gonna like it, I'm gonna like it. So, yeah, so, yeah, let's get it. So we're done with the suite and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. I think it came out really dope. The vision that I had, um, it really came to life. So I planned on making this video about a month ago, but I had a couple things that I was still waiting on in the mail before I showed you guys the finished product. And I still have a couple more things, but as for right now, um, I pretty much have everything. Just like I said, little knickknacks, little things here and there. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour around, show you the suite, let you guys check it out. And uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, so first things first, guys. So right when you walk in the room, you have my Paradise German license plate. Your boy got this made on Amazon. I had this sitting on my mirror in my last week because I didn't have, well, I didn't know where I wanted to hang it. Um, I think it's really dope. You know, you see this right when you're sitting in the chair. You really don't see it when you walk in but you see it when you come in. And then we're gonna move right here to the Bob Marley poster. So Bob Marley, man, I love his music. Definitely one of my influences. As you guys can see, definitely one of my hair influences as well. I got this poster, I think off Etsy. It's a real cool, it's not, I don't know if you guys can see, it's not really paper. It's uh, it's a real cool material. So I really like this poster. Um, like I said, he is definitely one of my influences. So I had to throw it up in the shop. Of course, we got the TV on the wall with the little uh, LED lights in the back. And then right here, we got the hot towel warmer. Then we got a little basket for my clean towels and my dirty towels. Of course, we got the young Nipsey Hustle with all the tattoos. Then we're gonna move on to my shelf. Got the Gundam, then we got the Spartan Race. I did this in 2017, man. This morning I was just thinking, I was like, man, I wanna do another one of those. So you might catch your boy doing another one of those. So keep on the lookout for that. Might make a video if uh, you know I find one. Then my boy Retch and my girl Becky, they got, uh, they got me this margin boo right here. So, hey, I really, really appreciate it. And then also we got the Knight Rider right here. So I thought this was pretty cool. I was looking for a Monte Carlo, but you know, I really couldn't find one so I, I think this is really dope the doors open up butter interior so it's really really dope really like that all the kids when they come in here they try to grab on that and I have to you know tell them hey sit down don't touch that <laughs> then right here we got this uh, Krillin picture so I actually did this in a painting I can't remember how big it is but it was probably the size of that Bob Marley poster and I got a print made of it decided to put it in here and then of course we got the uh, Gohan so we got the Rubik's Cube like I had in my other suite shout out to my boy Alejandro he hooked it up for your boy and then there you go, we got the Houston Marathon medal. I ran that in the beginning of 2020. Definitely wanted to do another marathon this year. I think they're doing a virtual one, but I don't know, I have zero motivation. I need to be with people. I need to feel the energy, you know, to get through those 26.2 miles. And I don't know if I could just do it by myself. I'm sure I could do it. Might make another video about that, you know, get into training, but we'll see how 2021 goes with all that stuff. So let's keep it going. So moving on, I'm sure you guys know who this guy is right 
right here is Bruce Lee. So this is one of my favorite movies from Bruce Lee, Enter the Dragon. So this is at the end when he's fighting the, uh, I can't remember what the guy's name is, but when he's fighting the boss on the island. So I remember when I was younger, one of my grandma's friends, he showed me this movie, Enter the Dragon. And I don't know, man, ever since I saw that movie, I was, I've just really gotten into Bruce Lee. You know, he put me on game, so shout out to him. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check out Into the Dragon, really dope movie. So we got the big standing mirror from Ikea. Now I had this in my apartment, but at Ikea, they're sold out. Well, they're actually sold out of these big mirrors pretty much everywhere that I've looked. They provided a mirror. As you guys can see right here, you got the holes in the walls, but I wanted a little bit of a different aesthetic. And you know, I really think it looks dope, you know, the freestanding mirror and everything. My clients asked me about it, asked me where I got it from. I don't know if they're still sold out, but when I was looking for them, they were sold out. So of course we got the ring lights, bada bing, bada boom. And then right here, also another one of my big influences, Nipsey Hussle, this Crenshaw album. Man, I can run this album back 20 million bazillion jillion times and not get tired of it. Pretty much everybody I have on the wall it has influenced me in some point of some point in time or in some way. So I take a little bit of from all of them and you know I just try to incorporate it into myself and you know just keep the hustle going, keep the marathon going. So yeah, let's go. We so we got the clipper set up. We got my station right here. This is what I'm rocking with. Still rocking with the Babalises, still rocking with the Cordless Seniors, the Magic Clips, the Topazes, and also, you know, my babies right here. Got my thinning shears, got my shears, got an extra blade back there, got my roller brush, got some Suavecito. I've been really using my detachables a lot here lately. They've been cutting down my cut time like crazy. I mostly use the one and a half, I think that might be on my clipper right now. Yeah, I mostly use the one and a half, the OA1 and 1A. Um, and every once in a while, I may use the two and the three and a half. And yeah, the five out blade to ball people out. I like to keep these up here for fast access. And you know, I have my guards um, half through three. Anything above that, I just use clipper of a comb. You know, I'm still rocking the skeleton FXs. Also, my babies, wall detailers. And, um, I really don't use these anymore. I just kind of keep these on my station. Actually, they're kind of taking up space. Uh, they haven't been plugged in, so I'm surprised they're still running right now. But yeah, they're just pretty much taking up space right now. I'm sure I'll maybe use them again if my clipper ever dies, but I don't know. So this is pretty much all of last year up in here. So yeah, your boy's been getting busy. I gotta dump these out. I really don't know where to dump these things at. So I gotta look that up and figure that out where to take these things. And uh, yeah, but your boy has been getting busy as you guys can see. So we got the paradise sign. So this paradise sign, as soon as people come in here, you know, I've had people walk by and ask me, yo, where'd you get this sign from? And you know, I got it from Etsy. I don't know the ex exact retailer, but it was pretty cool. He hooked it up. They asked me what kind of font I wanted, what size I wanted, and they gave me this dope little remote. I just think this black accent wall really makes my room pop. It's really dope. I really like it. And this white just brightens up this room like so, 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 so much. I'm really glad I went with this color. So you can dim the lights. So this is at, hold on, gotta point it down here at the uh at the fuse box so that's 10 percent. then we're gonna jump it up to 100 and then also it you can you know flash it then you can go crazy with it if you want to let me turn that off before i get a headache yeah it's pretty cool came in multiple colors like i said i got it off etsy i'm sure if you type in neon lights you guys can figure it out let's keep it rolling so of course got my fake plant here people ask me all the time is this thing real no, it's actually pretty dusty. I need to dust this thing off. And then of course we got the barber pole. And then also I got a little sitting area for my clients right here. I got this rug. I don't know where I got the rug from, but I got these chairs off of Wayfair. Pretty soft, pretty sturdy chairs too as well. Yeah, I'm still rocking with the same barber chair. That's pretty much it guys. Um, this is everything with the lights on. Let me turn the lights off real quick. And boom, 
This is how everything looks with the lights off. I like to dim those a little bit and just let leave my sign on and leave my barber pole on. And I think it really pops, especially when you walk by the room. I really think it looks dope. So, all right guys, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, I am pretty happy with how everything turned out. Now there are little knickknacks that I need to get, like right back here. I'm gonna get a little table that I'm gonna set up, you know, just to put right there. Maybe put some, I don't know what, just put some up there. So I had somebody hit me up on Instagram asking me, well, how did you, know you were ready to enter a suite how did you get your clientele to the point that it is i didn't know i was ready i just kind of did it and i decided hey this is something that i thought about this is something i wanted to do and you know i just bet on myself when you do decide to do this i feel it just make you go harder to make this work and want to succeed at this me personally i'm just one of those type people if i'm gonna do something hey i'm gonna do it i'm just not gonna bullcrap at it when you're ready you'll know you're ready and you know go ahead and do it give it a try I, I, hey it's working for me so it might work out for you and when it comes to the clientele part me personally I didn't do anything out of the ordinary I think how I got to the point to where I am right now man I, I just think it was being a cool person I remember in barber school one of my instructors told me he was like man you got to build a relationship with these people you got to get to know these people you got to make them feel comfortable with you and a reason for that is they can come to you and they can go to another barber say you know that other barber doesn't talk to them they just sit down you know they make they make them feel like a number just get them in and out say one word to them but then they come to you you get to know them you ask them how their day was you know you just try to figure out just try to get to know them I'm not saying you gotta pry and everything you can feel when somebody wants to talk to you or when they don't want to talk to you just build a rapport with them build a relationship so say you're having a bad day and you mess up on their haircut they're more likely to come back to you and let you know hey Nick can you do this differently opposed to that other barber that doesn't say one word to them that makes them feel like a number they'll just replace them so easily opposed to just kind of throwing away the relationship or the rapport that we have now don't get me wrong they're there's been a lot of people that I, I built relationships and they just kind of ghosted but that's part of the game me personally I'm not for everybody I'm not everybody's barber and I'm not trying to be everybody's barber I'm trying to be the barber for the people that rock with me the people that see my vision the people that really believe in what I have going on and that want to support me and you know I really do appreciate everybody that supported me this is will be my third year in a suite and for me only being cutting hair for five years I really feel that it is you know this is an accomplishment you know if you would ask me six years ago hey Nick do you see yourself being a barber do you see yourself cutting hair I would have probably told you no you know, I'm coming from the Air Force I used to be a firefighter when I moved to Texas I went to the firefighter recruiter spoke to them I was thinking I was gonna be a firefighter but when they told me that I had to recertify and I had to go to school again it was like uh, do I really want to do that again no and barbering was something that was always in the back of my mind always something that kind of fascinated me I never really was like yo I'm going to be a barber and I just went to barber school and I found I, I found that I liked it a little bit and I just kept going with it and I'm that is one of the decisions in my life that I could look back at on and be like that was a really good decision I hope you guys enjoyed this sweet tour I really really like how it turned out I envisioned it I wrote it down on a piece of paper I had mapped it out and everything and it turned out exactly how I wrote it down so with that being said if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also turn on that post notification so you're alerted every time I drop a video and I'm definitely gonna be coming with more heat so you guys just keep on the lookout for that and like I said I really appreciate everybody that's been rocking with your boy so far it really 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 does mean a lot to me so until next time guys I'm gonna catch you guys later peace